And holy explosion. Her little boy had puked everywhere. We had puke apocalypse. It was pukeopolypse apocalypse. Oh. I don't know. Anyway. Hey friends, welcome to Moxie Life. South Bend, Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, a lot of Indiana this month, I mean this week, and then, um, and then on Wednesday when I'm done, I get to go home for about four days, and uh, yeah, so I'm excited for that. The alarm woke me up to Bruno Mars' Lazy Song, appropriate, appropriate for today. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just packing up, getting some coffee made, and uh, gonna get ready to head out and fly some people around. Hopefully the weather will be on my team. I know it's been messing up some plates lately, so <sighs> fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly. Got my lunch partially packed. Lots of snacks. Lots of snacks, some beef jerky, cheese and crackers, applesauce, these grilled cheese keto snacks, which are nice and crunchy and fill me up. And oh, I found these yesterday. I thought I would try little peanut butter packets with one egg white, nine grams of protein. And, um, you know, of course. Gotta have a little wine for the road. And then I'm gonna put my actual meals on top of there and be good to go. And we'll ice pack. Alright, I'm here at the plane. I don't know if you can hear me, it's so loud. Um, I'm the first one here. It's still dark. See? I can't really do my uh, checks until I get lights, so um, the captain's not here yet. And first officer's not here yet. I am super early, so I'm just kind of hanging out, you know, doing a few things that I can do in the dark. But uh, looking forward to work. We're going to Kentucky this morning first, and then I think I'm not really sure. A few small towns, <laughs> other than that. But I think we end up in South Bend tonight, and uh, I like South Bend. It's cute. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'll talk again later. I forgot to say, it's my anniversary. I have been married 23 years today. And, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Wish I could spend it with my honey, but we got to have an awesome trip to Iceland. Um, and what are my marriage secrets? Here's my marriage secret. Uh, I got a really great guy. He's just nice. and uh, But he's not too nice. You know, he doesn't let me get away with anything. Um, well, he does. He spoils me. And, uh, to say I'm not high maintenance, but I think I probably am. Um, but uh, yeah, so 23 pretty awesome years. And now we've uh, raised our kids, and so now we're going to do some stuff on our own. <laughs> I like my kids, though, so they can come, too, sometimes. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go to work now. Hey, here I am on uh, night one of a four-day um, we're staying in South Bend. Today I went to uh, Louisville and Kalamazoo, Detroit a couple times, and now I'm staying the night in, um, in South Bend. And I just thought I'd show you a little bit of where we're at. Right by the St. Joseph River, which um, has a lot of history. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool place, pretty awesome view from my hotel room, but I thought I'd come down and see it firsthand before I go to bed. I have a 5 a.m. show tomorrow, so I'm probably going to go to bed kind of early. But um, yeah, just wanted to check in, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! This is kind of cute. It's kind of like what they do in France, except for you're not really allowed to do it anymore. They cut your locks off, but uh, 
You can put locks on this little chain wall here. I'm assuming they're professing their love for each other. Oh, here's one. It says... I don't even know what the names are, but there's somebody's names on there. So cute. So much love. All the love. Morning, everybody. It is, um... 4.40 on Monday. I am in South Bend still getting ready to take off. Um, today I go to Atlanta um, and we spend about an hour there and then uh, go to Fort Wayne and that's the day. That's it. That's all you got to do today. Um, so should be a pretty easy day. Um, I learned something last night that you would think I would have learned by now because it's happened more than once. But you should always check the alarm clock in your room because my alarm went off at 1 a.m. And um, I slammed it and then uh, it came on again because I didn't actually turn it off. I must have just hit the sleep or whatever. So I had to turn on the light, put on my glasses, look at the flipping alarm and try to figure out how to turn it off did not make me happy and um, set my alarm for too early for myself woke up at like 3 30 did not need to wake up that early and I uh, yeah, so I have a 5 a.m. shuttle and just having some coffee gonna finish getting ready and uh, head to the airport go to Atlanta super cool all right talk later oh my gosh you guys what a day what a day. Actually started out really well. Ooh, I dropped you. <laughs> Hello. Started out really well. I felt very rested. Had a good wake up. Everything went smoothly. smoothly. My hair was smooth. And not crazy. And so I had about 15 minutes. I was ready early. So I was like, I'm sorry I'm fixing my hair a little bit because it's looking like a little bit of a hot mess. But so I decided that I was going to, um, I decided that I was going to iron the back of my dress real quick, like, just because it was a little poofy and had a little wrinkle in it. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to run the iron over it real quick and fix that right up. And then I'll look super sharp. And so I did. Pulled out the iron and flipped it on, heated up. Guys, this is what happened. The iron ate my dress. Yeah, can you see the iron mark? It barely even touched it down. That iron was so flippin' hot, it melted right through my dress. I had five minutes to spare. I had, thank God, I had another uniform packed because last week I forgot to pack a second uniform. So I had to rip out my other one, which was also kind of wrinkled because it had been in my bag. And so I turned the iron like down, down, down. And I was like, put a towel over it to try to get some of the wrinkles out. But it was like, it was just too late. Like I didn't have any time left. So, sorry, so wiggly. So, look at all that shine. Ooh. You could have a new oil slick right there. That's like an oil spill. Need to get some hazmat on that. But, um, anyway, so, yeah. My dress, my cute, awesome dress that I bought. Gone. Fabulous. <laughs> These uniforms are not cheap, people. I'm very sad. So anyway, that was how my day started, and I was like, no, it's all good, it's all good. I had, my first three legs were awesome, they went smoothly, I had some really nice people, I got to stop in Detroit and get a coffee, like everything was flowing along, loaded up for our last leg of the day. I can't figure out how to hold this. Um, so loaded up for our last leg of the day, we were all counted up, ready to go. <sighs> Jet bridge was moving away, and I was going to close the door. 
and ding, the little flight attendant light goes on. And then I look back and the mom was kind of like looking around. Her son was sitting next to her. She didn't look too concerned. So I sauntered on back there and holy explosion. Her little boy had puked everywhere. We had puke apocalypse. It was pukeopolypse. I don't know. Anyway, there was throw up everywhere. So we had to call in the cleaners and ended up being delayed to clean up, which some other people were quite happy because they had missed the flight and they had to pull the jet bridge back so to get the cleaners on. So they were actually able to board the flight, which does not happen. Those two guys were lucky duckies. But, um, yeah, so my first puke experience on the plane wasn't, wasn't pleasant. So I don't know what happened, but that flight literally sucked the life out of me. I feel exhausted now and feel like I flew for like 10 hours instead of four. Yay. So anyway, that's my crazy day. Um, I'm going to go take off my uniform and relax, have some snacks, and then probably go get some dinner with my crew. I'm in Cedar Rapids, by the way, tonight. Last night of a four day. Tomorrow we have five leggies. So hopefully we'll go a little smoother. In and out of Minneapolis about four times, and then last leg to Detroit, and then I get to go home. Hallelujah. So, anyway, that's it for now. Talk more later. Hey guys, I'm sitting in my hotel room. Ooh, it's dark. Hi, I'm sitting in my hotel room and I need to go to bed. But I've been really wanting to do one of these masks. So I'm going to do a mask and I'm also going to do my teeth whitening. And I'm going to show you how cute it looks. Okay? Blueberry juice a day keeps the trouble away. Hopefully this carries over in tomorrow. I want, don't want no trouble on my trip. So this is the mask I'm going to do. And then this is the teeth whitening I've been using. I don't know if it works, but giving it a shot anyway.